Samara's Bay. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. Ooh. Is that for, with finding the thingy? The person? It's alright. Just tell me what you need. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. I can barely see her against the night sky. You obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morin. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Yeah, the Ardak Yakshi. I don't even know how to say Didn't that. Did you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. She's got a point, cause it's like a it's like a fugitive on the run. She's got to she? like get her what she can. Oh, of course. Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for four hundred years. Four hundred years. It's the most important thing in my life. Must be and another Asari. Just a car. Oh. Well, damn. Jesus. Tell me about her. She is an Ardat Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. Oh, well. I mean, aren't you kind of like that? Well, no, you're not kind of like that. You do kill with a cause. Why so the special is an name? Argot Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. Why is she playing MCC again? There is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. So death by snoo-snoo. She does death by snoo-snoo, that's what she's saying. Jesus. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? If we she will play, I'm pretty sure she'll play with you. With Maybe not today, but, because so I'm pretty sure she's tired. Them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy. And they don't wish this defect to be widely known. As far mm. as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. So it's like a disability. They see it as like a disability and they look down upon it. And like, are we dead by Susu? Broken pelvises? Oh, so funny. Well, in this case, you're brain dead. Because when they like... When they do the snoo they do it, like, mentally. Is it wrong to want freedom? I can see why she's dangerous. I don't know that I blame her for running. When she fled, she proved her addiction. She was not taking a great moral stand. She simply wants to keep killing. She is a oh. tragic figure, but not a sympathetic one. So she keeps wanting to kill people death by, by snoo Oh. You know. Can't I mean, it's a good way to go out. Each encounter I'm gives people please strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. Oh, she's she addicted to stop. it. She can't. Um, I still, again, I think it's a great story. Just wasn't, was it for me? So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It yeah, it's kind of fucked up. With maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. That's, is that what's going to happen? You choose between prison and death. It is an addictive condition. Remember how adaptive we are. If Morinth does not want to be cured, she won't be. I can see why she's dangerous. Is she that dangerous? I can see why she's dangerous because she's like just snoo snooing people to death. But at the same time, it's not her fault she got a condition. Like, say for instance, if like, I guess it'd be like AIDS. So say you had AIDS, and every time you passed AIDS on to somebody, it released endorphins, so you slowly got addicted to, like, sleeping with people and passing AIDS on the other people. But say AIDS wasn't, like, something you got, you were born with it. Um, but you could pass it on. Um, but, like, yeah, it'd be, like, the same thing. It's like she was born with it. It's not her fault. Why should you kill her for it? I mean, yeah, she's getting addicted and misusing it, but so. Like, fight me, mom. You know what she confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. Oh. She's like a vampire. You know, like vampires, they seduce people. It's like that. Let's go get her. I'll think about we need it. We stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. I have a feeling I'm going to have a decision to either kill her. Oh. This creature. This monster. 
She is my daughter. Oh! Well, that changes things. She's not... That's why she's been hunting her for 400 years. It's her own child. Oh, makes sense. But she has her AIDS. It's, it's given it... I mean, you write... Yeah, I mean, it's still it's still bad. It's still bad. I'm just saying it sucks because it's like... She didn't ask to be born with it. She was born with it. And now it's... it's again, it's addicted to her. Well, that's a twist. It's your own daughter. But I'm pretty sure when I do her mission, it's going to be a choice between either killing the daughter or letting the daughter be you spared. this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Mari oh, was shit. the wild one. She was happy and free. But selfish. Wait! All her children have it? So there are three three Ardat Yakshis, or I can't even say the name, um, in existence and all three of them are her kids? Well, that's bad luck. She wants to snooze through a log with the side. Oh, no, no, hunt, No! <laughs> no! The snoo snoo has gone too far. Samara, I'm sorry. I can't imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. <coughs> well then, Jesus. Me. Simply understand my situation. It's like somebody snoo snooing and not knowing when to stop and like like breaking somebody's pelvis or back while doing it because they don't they don't have any self control. It's kind of like that because they said that when they meld, they like fry the brain in the process. So it's like they overdo it. Samara's matriarch, her snoozu days are over. <laughs> Is she a matriarch? I thought she was. So she's like over. She's like reached that. She's like over the hill kind of thing. The snoozu hasn't ever gone far enough. The snoozu where she is today. It's like God. Yeah, that's like yeah. It's like, what was that one movie? Um, I think my my girlfriend's a superhero or whatever. And it's like, there's like a, there's a sex scene in it. There's a snoo snoo scene. And she, there, she's so aggressive that she literally like, the bed goes through the wall. I'm just going to say that. That's it. So it's like, it's like that. She has no self-control kind of thing. Like she can't, it's like, the snoo snoo too intense. Cody's haters like, Cody, no! So would that be snoo or she, oh God, our, no! I swear to God, young man. Oh, oh, thank you, Hush, for the biddies. I appreciate it. Look at all those hearts. Look at all those snoo snoo hearts. Is this awesome? I swear to God, for what? How did all this happen? I spent my youth <laughs> being adventuring. I killed people, made it with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my veteran <laughs> days came. I could finally uh. sit back bask and enjoy my family but in one moment it was all taken away that's right when they reach the matron stage it's like when you reach adulthood um so when she reached adulthood which i would guess would she i think it's what like 400 for them when they're 400 years old um 400 300 no 400 i think is when they're adult um and then when they reach the matriarch stage it's like reaching menopause kind of thing that that must have been hard we should get back to work terrible. yeah it's been, I sat in a med lab oh. while a nearsighted doctor droned at me. Not even ice cream tater. Nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I owe nothing. Claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. But, 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 but I thought you said the other two are in a prison. Wait a minute. You lied to me. Excuse me, madam. You said you were only trying to kill one. I thought the other two were, like, locked up somewhere. Um... Yeah, because I was going to say, aren't Justicars not supposed to have families? They're kind of like Jedi. They're not supposed to have, like, relationships and families and stuff. So, But she said that she had the kids prior, and then because of what her daughters were, she became a Justicar. Those moments change you. And I have hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long-lost daughter. And kill her. Oh, um, hmm. I don't know when it comes to the choice i might not because i feel like i th feel like she's killing her daughter because she's beating herself up too much we'll go find more your computer and your phone and that's it i was like i don't want you on my ship it is too high for me to pinpoint an ardot yakshi's location however given the reputation of ardot yakshi among the asari aria talok may have tracked her movements 
I forget who Arya to Loke is. Where are you? What do you need? An Asari fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yakshi does. You haven't done anything about it? Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I started looking. Oh, thank you. Excuse me, woman in the background. I'm trying to have a conversation. You're very distracting. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. They mentioned that Arya is Better voiced by Trinity from... It, really? I can hear it. Yeah, I can definitely hear it in her voice. I just like repent. The hell? The hell? What the? Oh, hi, Sumera. What? You just randomly showed up. I actually should have brought Samara on the mission. I just realized that. Hi, Sumera, or Samara. I've been investigating. This is the mother of the last victim. Speak to her. I will. Oh, okay. My nephew died a week ago, and no one seems. The medic said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. I believe you may ask some questions. I'm looking into your daughter's death. Are you one of Arya's people? Uh, no. What is it? The collector outfit? I'm on your side. I'm an. I'm an interested party. I'm here to help. Does it matter who sent me? No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. Uh, Did you not have friends. A lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Morinth. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to- Oh, that's all you have to say, Samara? She gave my daughter drugs. Well, she gave your daughter something. It's a secret- Oh. Oh, good, find that. Army, woman, who are you? Why are you telling me about your dead daughter? Oh, yeah, so there's this- uh, So, Pebbles is probably, like, way, like, I don't know how much you've been paying attention. So, Asaris have, like, when- When two- When an Asari and another person love each other very much- <laughs> They don't just connect on like a physical level, they collect on like a mental level. It's like, it's a, it's a weird thing. Um, and there's a certain, Arati, I don't remember the name, how to say the name of it, but there's a term that the Asari use for when a, when an Asari connects with like, say like a human, cause they can pretty much, um, what do you call it? Like mate with any species or whatever. Um, there's a certain name for it. So, 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 such a too. Yeah, it pretty, pretty. That's the highlighter put it more greatly because pretty much she, um, when she does um, sleep with somebody, she pretty much instead of just having this nice mental or like psychological, I can't even say it correctly. Instead of like mind melding with them like peacefully, she like mind fucks them to the point that their brain is just dead. So she like it's bad. Yeah, I don't yakshi that I can't say. That's a hard thing for me to say. So, yeah. So, and her daughter was just a recent person to be killed by a set of sorry. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. I swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. Well, Asari's are very alluring. Look at Pebbles' face! And Samara's been hunting her for 400 years. Oh, by the way, only legendary skin. Is it? Oh, oh God! Look at Army's Samara, face. Does Morinth control her victims with drugs? Army, no. She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. So What's a Morinth hedonist? Did hurt my daughter. Is she the one that? That. I will bring justice to the one that did this. Hedonism is someone who cares most about physical. Oh, the more you know. Knowledge. <laughs> we swear to you, Neff will rest easy soon. I hope so. I hope so. 
<laughs> I thought she was about to puke for a second. Why'd you shake your head, Samara? Uh, Didn't hang, hang out anywhere in particular. She was always quiet working here at home. Then, a few weeks ago, she started going out all the time to the VIP area of that club down the street. I think you need a password oh. or something to get in there. The change was so sudden. She just seemed tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morinth. Yeah, she became a uh, Morinth is like a social vampire. Be it exercise, be it sex, be it food and drink. That's interesting. I, that's interesting because I feel like I feel like my mom might be a hedonism because she's really addicted to working out. But don't tell her that I said that. This is between you and me, fam. Don't say anything. Counting on you not to say anything. <laughs> Cause I, now that I know the term of it, she got, she got like way into working out. Like she would do the thing where she like, runs on the treadmill for an hour, takes a shower, like does something for maybe like two hours, then goes rides a bike for two hours or like not two hours for an hour, and then does something else and then maybe goes and lifts weights later. And I don't mean like run on a treadmill just like a regular jog. She like does like marathon running and then like on the bike she does like marathon biking. It's like that. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My nephew had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and oh, the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative. Oh. How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Said her work was fresh. May I look Mind around? If I examine Neff's oh, room, <laughs> I Moogle's like, disturbing. more love. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The when I had to give double love, Army. My baby is gone. Oh. She's gone. Oh. I almost missed it. I hate that if I just barely take my hands off the mouse, all of a sudden, like, a paragon or retagon thing comes okay. up. And I was like, oh, I missed it. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will is it really you. Hades? Thank you. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. We will be respectful. I'll examine her things. Which would kind of make sense, because got with his bottles and stuff, but... Read middle entry, read newest entry, read oldest entry. Uh, read, read oldest, oldest entry. Hey, diary, cycle 34, orbit 671. She That's looks so scared. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room and afterlife. I'm sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water. So sad because she got so attached. It's like the drunk Read uncle. The middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. Oh, am I a freak? Marth is a girl like me, and she's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the Halix is flowing through me, the way she looks at me. Halix is a drug on in this game, isn't it? So sad. Playing on emotions like that. Um, newest entry. entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces. We can live somewhere glamorous like the women in Vanya that fit more likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Close That's so trash. sad. She was in love and it just got used. Slightly isolated from their peers, she impresses with sophistication and sex appeal, and she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. She sounds sad. Does this sounds easy? Anyone who successfully both. hunted sapient beings for four hundred years warrants caution. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that you'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. I don't like that you're talking about your daughter like this. Always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. The perfect predator. Let's stop her. Can't wait to meet her. Can't wait to meet her. Oh, she sounds so lovely. She sounds more like a highly evolved killer than a genetic defective. 
The condition has been present since my people huddled around fires at night. Perhaps it is symbiotic rather than a defect. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for 50 years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. Oh, I have a feeling I'm gonna be a tr I'm gonna be a lure. We're gonna lure her out with me. So we have to lure her out. Exactly. Shepard, you read my mind. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. I knew it. Alone and armed. I am her. I'm She'll the bait. You can draw more in that. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me, but she won't be able to resist you. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. I'm walking into this place with no gun and no backup? I will be in the shadows watching, Shepard. You will never be alone. This I swear. But you cannot barge in with guns and allies. Marinth is far too cagey. She'd simply disappear. This is a subtle, delicate... I mean, I, I get it. Me. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're but, there. But, but we didn't... But I want to investigate the rest of the room. What's this? Neff, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime. But don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. I'm so lost about this game. I'm like a bald guy in a barber shop. This is one of those games that if you come in in the middle, you're going to be so lost. I'm doing a side mission for the companion. Like, if you've played Fallout games, you know how each companion has, like, a side story. I'm doing Samara's side story, which is pretty much... So, as Highlander said, pretty much Samara's daughter is a sex demon who pretty much kills people by sleeping with them. She pretty much makes them brain dead when she sleeps with them. Because uh, Saris don't just sleep with people physically, they sleep with them, like, mentally, too. It's like a mental meld. Hey, army boy creature that, that could kill people in seconds. Tonberry! Oh, army being called out about your Tonberry experience. What about the sculpture? A man from some gallery offered me four years in gallery for it. But I never worked. I mean, four years salary for this? Woman! I think you need the money. Hello. What do you want? What's back there? Let me in. Um, Jerut sent me. me. The rest of afterlife's nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jarut. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight. We'll hurt you. Someone that was it. You? It's okay. To that is you. the easiest thing ever. I could easily just name drop and just be like, boom, I'm in. Oh, look, I'm in my fancy t- Samara- I'm over here! So much for being stealthy, Samara. Marinth will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face oh, to face, God. subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this, until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. Here's a question, though, because the last girl, Neff, she, like, wooed and, like, dated her. Like, first she, like, alert, she lured her, and then they went on a date, and they went on, it sounded like a couple dates, and then she went back to the apartment. Isn't it gonna be a little suspicious if I just show up and be like, hey, babe, you wanna go back to your place? I mean, yeah, some people, but I mean, I would think that'd be suspicious to her, like, hmm, this person's, like, falling for me for just a little too fast. It's not like she's trying to keep it, yeah, under control. Morris is just like killing. Darut is about. Oh, I. Oh, Darut is a password. Oh, I thought Darut is a person. No, oh, I thought it was just name dropping. No. Oh. Trying Morris out. Her interest when I'm not even talking to her. Courage or suicidal bravery could attract her. Hurt someone in defense and she will be excited. But make a fight and she'll be bored. Show skill at working smoothly through a nightclub crowd. She will be intrigued. She'll want you the moment she sees you. The rest is just a matter of overpowering her caution. Get into two more apartment. Take me home. She admires strength, directness, and vigor. Modesty, chivalry, or meekness frustrate and bore her. Violence excites her. You've killed Shepard. She'll like that. I just don't like how much you know about your daughter's like sex life. 
music. Falling in her sway. That'll require careful timing. I will be near and I will come for you, Shepard. Trust me as I trust and honor you. Okay. What other things have we learned about Morinth that can help us here? According to Neff's journal, Morinth likes dancing while on a drug called Halix. Neff's journal mentioned a vid called Veyenya. It seemed to have something to do with glamorous women. Morinth sent Neff a note saying she likes the Elcor artist Forta. Well, Shepard, that's everything we know. Everybody wants to get in Shepard's pants. More loves power. Gilly, that's what Shepard. I mean, you right. She likes a strong, independent woman. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. Any mistake and more it will disappear. If you're the oh, can she actually leave I'll in this mission? Can I actually lose her? I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden easily. And you are the only oh, are you finally here for army love? Oh, I'm sorry. I had a dungeon. No, well now there's two army loves because you took so long. Where is this a sorry get away from me? What kind of music do they play? They're a sensory band. Like they crawl into you and make you feel things. And this is sorry digs them like you wouldn't believe. I could score way out of my league, you know? You gotta help me. Get away from me. Amazing. Is she here? She was here a couple of days ago talking about the band. She's here a lot. When she comes back, I'm gonna have tickets. I don't have any tickets. Oh, I'm learning information about her. Okay, so I'm getting info on her. Don't be like that. I got credits. We'll go back to my place. I got simple tastes. Back off, asshole. I'm a dancer, not a hooker. Oh. You got a mouth on you. I'll enjoy watching you use it. Oh shit. Oh, this is what we were talking about. Like, I don't... Not the, like... What Samara was like, don't start fights, but she likes when I defend people. Lady asked you to step away. You want in on this transaction? Hey, I don't care if it's you or this bitch. I just like good times. Oh! Ah! Yeet! Good times are over. That human behind in the background looks a lot like me. So I have to do every interaction a certain way, I'm guessing. What did I just have? I see Verf. Oh, I can dance. I'll show you a good time with my sword up your ass! You right? Uh, hi. I need help right now, and I don't know who to ask. You're human, and you don't look high, so you're it. Can you help me out? Slow down and tell me what the problem is. Right. You just need us to leave it! Sorry, I, I just don't know what oh, to do. Oh, great. My friend Moira was doing a piece on Omega Games. She's hanging with Florid. He's the worst of the worst. Sounds... It does sound dangerous. A bit piece. She's an investigative reporter, you know? She's trying to profile gamers. Your friend could get hurt. Yeah, and she's going to. See, Florid's on to her. His gang is on the way here, and they're gonna make a mess of her. I have to get a message to her, and fast. How do you know all of this? I'm kind of curious. I'm her tech. I've been monitoring the gang's call. The last transmission said Ford's going to splatter her. Man, I'm a tech junkie. I don't know how to handle this. What do you want me to do? She and I have a code. If you go over and say two words to Ford, my friend will get the message and get out of there. The two words are terminal and eternity. In that order. Please tell me you can do that. She's going to die. I can do that. Thank you. Thank you. Remember, terminal. I terminal. guess. In that order, just work them into a sentence. I guess I can help I you. Hey, I don't know. That one. All these drunk people. Something I can do for you, lady. Oh god, it was terminal and in eternity, Is right? A public extranet terminal around here. In a club? You don't have an omni tool? That is a pretty strange question. I get by on public terminals. My Omni tool has been broken for an eternity. 
That's a tough break. Oh, I'm done talking to you now. Hey, for it. I have to pee. Yeah? Da Hurry back, my roll. I'm ready to head out. <laughs> I have to pee. Just, I have to pee. Oh, okay. Nothing suspicious about just getting up and peeing. Do you have anything else for me? Thank you so much. Okay. Burton, isn't this a guy to talk to? Good cred hunting tonight. Hit him in the alley. As long as it isn't one of our ears, people. Good. We gotta get enough creds to keep him off our backs. Hey, what are you looking at? To the Krogan? Just leave. Help with your boss. How about I give you enough creds for your boss, then you leave and stay gone. No one gets hurt. Works for me. Let's go. Yeah, that sounds like a better. I I have enough creds that I don't care. I've been oh. watching you. You're the most interesting person in this oh, place. Well. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? Oh well, too much. Like too much for. Too bad for the Krogan. <laughs> There's just one person. Tonight it's you. Why is that? Oh my god, she looks like her mom. Like, a lot like her mom. I, I, I didn't know, Derek, I'm sorry. I was going, I was going, the best video game quote. Oh, never mind. Oh, never. I didn't expect her to show up that fast. I was like, oh, but, but Krogan. Just reload, save to go talk to Krogan. Uh, do you, what is that? It's with you, we're like, I don't know, I'm confident. She likes confidence. What the fuck, we're supposed to sort of slice that face in half? Uh, she doesn't like, she doesn't like people being meek, so this is not a good one. She doesn't like people being chivalry. I think the confident. I know what I like. Do you? Oh. Just because- Oh, that's not suspicious at all! <laughs> uh, I like music? What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? Uh... I'm curious about a band called Expel 10. They get in my head and tear it to pieces. They're in concert soon. Maybe we should go together. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that. You know? I can tell by her body language. It's like she's like way into it. Um. What do you think of Alex? It slithers through my soul. Seems like we share some interest. Um, art? Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? Do you know the artist Forta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Yeah, she's very confident in her approach because she's just very, like, open body language. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in an, in an art gallery. Um, do you watch the violet, violet ones? Do you know Bayenia? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. I guess she really likes dark stuff. Yeah, she's kind of a very dark person. Oh, fuck. What do I say here, though? Oh, travel, because she wanted to go to that one place. It changes you, doesn't it? I like the danger. Real travel means going to dangerous places where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violence is the surest expression of power. Uh, you must- you must be insecure! That's an instant, like, could she be turned on and it all of a sudden just turned off the- <laughs> Power and safety. Who has the power- who has the power here? Edgelord 
sex demon. That's pictures. I get. That's pretty much what she is. That's pretty much Mo Mogul. You hit it right on the head. Violence is a means to an end. Power is that end. Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby. And oh, well that. That's, oh. You want me alone? You say? Oh. Yes. How she not notice her mom? What? Is there a Krogan? Oh, it's a sculpture. I'm like, do you have a Krogan in your house? Oh. Oh. Um. Hello. I want to examine your giant Krogan sculpture. That I thought was an actual person. This is scary. <laughs> a gift from a suitor. The statue's got more personality than he did. Still, he impressed me enough that he finally got what he wanted. It didn't end the way he hoped. Joseph? I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win just before you kill. This is a tiny bed. My feet would be hanging off. This is a tiny ass bed. Like, I think Shepard's actually taller than this bed. I'm just, I'm just admiring. Don't mind me, Morinth. We'll get to the good stuff in a second. What is this? Is this Halix? Have a Halix if you want. But wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now? I certainly. Oh. Oh, I thought I picked up the gun for a second. Small bed. Small bed, more action. I mean, you're right. And who needs a bed to have action? Look, we got a couch. We got a table. Hell, we could do it on the Krogan statue. You know, that'd probably be very uncomfortable. Can I take the sword? I was into dueling for a while. I love the moment you see it in your opponent's eyes. He knows you're better, and he's going to die. A little fucked up. Look at her in his face! We've got the floor. We got the ceiling. We got the, we got the chair. We got the plant. We might get a leaf in the butt, but you know, it'll be fine. We got a rifle aimed at your face. Uh, we got the stairs. We do it in the sink. We could take a bath and we could do it in the sink at the same time. <laughs> oh, man. I love clubs. People, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? Oh, I like how it was just automatically on the no. Uh, safety's a lie. Again, it's so weird that she looks so much like her mom. Like, they did a good job to make her look like she was, uh, like her mom's daughter. People feel safest right before they die. It's true. We're never safe. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission? I think we share that, you and I. Oh, oh, you're- uh... Social distancing! Power move to it next to more! <laughs> oh, snap! Show your dominance. We're not alike. Oh. Oh, this is. Whew. Talk about doing it next to more. Why not just do it with more at this point? Some. Um, I just really want her to do it. Well, she kind of deserves it, like Derek and Highlander were talking about. Or not alike. Both killed many times, but that's where the similarities end. Why do you say that I've killed? What do you know? Let's stop playing games. Oh, she tried. She finally figured it out. Into my eyes. Oh, she's trying to mind meld. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. Surprise, bitch! <laughs> 16 16 Total distance Don't count on it. But you Who are you? Oh, I was able to resist it. Oh no. I see what's going on. The bitch herself found a little helper. Marin. Oh. Mama's angry. Mama's super angry. Do not call me. I can't choose to stop being your daughter. Mother. You made your choice long ago. What a choice! My only crime is being born with the gifts you gave me. 
Enough. I mean, she has a point. False. I am the genetic Ladies. Of the but they are not ready to reveal this. So I must die. You are a disease to be purged. Nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. Oh, it's this kind of decision! Oh, that's why you were like, um, well, technically you don't have to kill her. <laughs> but, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, it's one of those decisions. <laughs> get, the, get the daughter. <laughs> get, well, and I'm going to make the decision. I just didn't realize it was that kind of decision. I thought it was going to be like either spare Morith or kill Morith. I didn't think it was going to be between mom and daughter. I wonder what happens, though, if you don't kill Morith. Does she end up killing you later in the game? Or does she actually become a better person? Does she, like, what do you call it? I don't know. Make a, I don't know, become a, again, like I said, a better person. I like there, this. <laughs> this. Would she be actually become a better person if you spare her? Does she actually learn from her mistakes? Oh, yeet! No, oh, she's, should she still be a dick? Oh, here come Mama! Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. Ooh. Oh, that seems a little much. Plus, I like Samara more. Samara, you just killed your daughter. Samara, you just killed your daughter and you're just acting like it's fine? Samara, do you need a hug? I could tell you, but I don't want to spoil it. Oh, okay, that's fine. I'm just curious if she would have become better. Because, like, that's, like... I don't think she would have. I think, if anything, she would have probably killed one of the crew members. I could see her, like, sleeping with Miranda and then sleeping with Jack. Like, she'd slowly kill my crew members. That would actually be interesting if you let uh, Morin live. And depending on when you got her in the game, she'd just slowly kill more and more crew members till you finish the game. Like, she'd slowly just start sleeping with everybody. Like, slowly Garrus would die, die, and then Miranda would die, and then Jack would die, and then, like, she'd just slowly... So, like, either you would have to try to speed up to finish the game before she killed everybody, or, you know, at the end of it, it'll tell you whether you want, uh, whatever you want to- Oh, really? Oh. She didn't kill her other daughters, right? I think she said she locked them up. They, like, are secluded. Like, they actually, um, what do you call it? They chose to seclude themselves because themselves they knew how dangerous they were. I think she said she had three daughters, and one of them went rogue, which was Morinth, and then the other two are, like, in a prison to keep themselves from hurting other people. Do you want to talk yeah. about what happened? Shepard, what do you think I will say? What can I say? I just killed the bravest and smartest of my daughters. There are no words. Aww. I will try another time. For now, show mercy on a broken old warrior and let us leave. I mean, I will tell you anything you need. No, no, it's okay. I'll just, I mean, I'll wait till the end. It's fine. I'm just, again, like I said... I just, over, I just, the daughter thing, I think, if I remember correctly, she talked about that she had three, and the other two chose to um, exile themselves, and then the, the one went, I still like Derek. <laughs> Morgan Freeman, this. <laughs> Let's go. Commander Shepard, cough, con I almost said, I, words are hard. I'm still tired, I'm still waking up. Contacted you per elusive man's instruction, he believed you would want to know that he ordered Subject Zero's project shut down before the riot broke out. Shepard's personal, personal personnel, wow, arrived to find all guards dead along with most of the subjects. Any surviving children were treated for injuries given mild amnesic treatments. Also, they wouldn't remember uh, amnesic um, and delivered to Alliance facilities as survivors of slaver attacks. A few surviving doctors were forcibly retired for the role in the project. Per your report, the facility on Pregia has been destroyed. I don't know if I could trust that or not. Because, like, again, that's, there's been a bunch of projects that the, the Tim, as we call him, has been like, oh, I would never order that. They weren't doing that. Um, they were, like, hiding it behind my back where they didn't ask my permission first and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, you know, maybe, like, one project um, doing bad stuff behind his back would... Maybe. Okay, I understand. They went a little too far. But when it's been, like, five projects now that things have gone to shit and literally... You keep, um, what do you call it? Bad shit keeps happening and you keep just saying it like, Oh, it was it was the people, it wasn't me. It's like, it gets highly suspicious after a while. Hi, oh, Samara. Morinth haunted my dreams and waking hours equally. 
For the first time in four hundred years, I For the first time in forever. I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret. But I am free. It is not a feeling I can describe. But now she has nothing like, what do you call it? She has no purpose. Because before she was like actually doing something on the price of freedom. Was it worth it? It was never a question of worth, but of need. I had to take the action I did, as did she. This was never a story that would have a happy outcome. Yeah, uh, yeah, I get that. She pretty much knew this was going to happen. Um, there was a story that would have had a happy outcome. You did your, your feelings. What about your feelings? One of my it was our daughter, was Shepard. My hopes, my dreams were all bound up in my children. Still, but yeah, it's her legacy. have always come after my duty. The same is true of you. You Good said that Barth more. was a monster. But she was still your daughter. She was the strongest and smartest. She would not accept the injustice thrust upon her. She fought to the end. I am so proud of her, Shepard. Uh. I guess what she's saying is that, like, besides her, like, m fucking people to death, <laughs> she was very smart and brave and stuff. Killed her for being what she was. And I would again. But I also know what it means to leave everything behind and fight. Do you realize that she went on the run at the age of 40? I do not know human years well, but it is very young for a sorry. That's super young for an Asari. That's like a teen. That's like 13. No wonder she turned out how she did. What will you do now that Morinth is gone? Assuming I survive your mission, I am a Justicar. Injustice still exists. And perhaps even other Ardat Yakshi. I would love, love. Of the characters, I think either Tally or Samara I would love to do, like, a cosplay of. No retirement. Yeah, she needs to relax. Because she's a um, matriarch. So she's kind of, like, in her, like, like menopause stage. You don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my home world and tried to start a family. And it failed. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace with that. Oh, okay. When I die, I will not be in bed. Don't be, don't be a fat, fatalistic, fatalistic. You still control the direction of your life. I have chosen this path. I truly am at peace. Do you know? I mean, you also like your face. To you. Oh. Oh, okay. Good talk, Sabera. 